This is Josh from Tech to Josh and this is the first episode of the series Fundamentals of Programming. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Our our first question will be why to learn fundamentals of programming before learning your main language. Now the answer is pretty simple. Fundamentals are much important because it is required to understand programming operations. Fundamentals of programming is the core part of learning any programming language. Even though the programming language differs in many ways, the core operations are usually the same. Introduction to a program. You know a program is used to run a group of commands to execute a task. For example, PowerPoint is used to make a presentation, Google Chrome is used to browse the internet and much more. How do programs run? A program runs on a specific platform such as Windows, Android, Linux or Mac. Developed through a suitable programming language such as C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, etc. Take that, you write the ingredients and step by step recipe of your favorite dish in a language that the computer can understand and perform it as you wish. These code are written in an IDE. No, don't care about that word. It is also called as an integrated development environment. Uh, some of these examples of IDE are PyCharm, Visual Studio, Extra. What is a programming language? A programming language is used to write a program. These languages has differences in usage. For example, C++ has high flexibility and can solve complex problems while Python is easy to use. Now let's look at how does a programming language works. As I previously said, a program is written in an IDE. But first, to write a program, you need the interpreter of your designed language. Without an interpreter, you cannot write anything in a programming language. An interpreter is a computer program that directly executes instructions with, written in a programming language. Most of the programming languages are free, so you can search these on Google. After this, you need an IDE. You can download these on the internet. In the IDE, you can assign the interpreter of your desired language. These are needed to write programs in a language. Here is a chart about how does a programming language works? Now the first step is from the IDE. The code is written in the IDE in human understandable syntax as per the programming language. Compiler within the IDE runs, tests for errors and compiles the code to transfer the operations to the interpreter. The interpreter within the IDE converts the compiled code into binary language which is zeros and ones. Computer understands the binaries and performs the commands written in the code. As you have seen in the chart, a programming language involves many steps. Uh, there are four main rules of programming. Every statement must appear on a separate line. A statement cannot be continued on the next line. It must not exceed one line in length. Each instruction in basic program is written as a separate statement. Any wrong code that you have written will not be corrected by your computer and only runs wrongly. What is a syntax? Syntax is the way of each programming language differs in words, phrases and context in command. Syntax is the format that is used to communicate between the user and computer. Now you might have a question, what is the difference between syntax and an interpreter? Uh, now the answer is pretty simple. The syntax is used by the interpreter to communicate within the user of the computer. Let me show you how the syntax differs in each languages. Here you can see there is three languages, Python, C and C++. Now the problem is that we need to make the line hello world appear on the screen. In Python, there is only a one line of code to solve the problem. But in C and C++ there is several lines of code. Even though C and C++ has some similarities, the syntax differs in each language. Thanks for watching this video and in the next series, I will be talking about what is an algorithm, how to organize code, how to make a flowchart, 
and how to solve problems we will be also looking at many interesting topics like subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay tuned about the next video thanks for watching and please like this video to encourage and support my efforts please suggest the tech topics you would like to watch in my channel please share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting entertaining and informative videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notifications of new videos